the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells his disciples the parable of the talent. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the Spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the Good Shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you. For it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Proverbs. A perfect wife, who can find her? She is far beyond the price of pearls. Her husband's heart has confidence in her. From her, he will derive no little profit. 
advantage and not hurt she brings him all the days of her life. She is always busy with wool and with flax. She does her work with eager hands. She sets her hands to the distaff. Her fingers grasp the spindle. She holds out her hand to the poor. She opens her arms to the needy. Charm is deceitful and beauty empty. The woman who is wise is the one to praise. Give her a share in what her hands have worked for and let her works tell her praises at the city gates. The word of the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labour of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Thessalonians. You will not be expecting us to write anything to you, brothers, about times and seasons since you know very well that the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. It is when people are saying how quiet and peaceful it is that the worst suddenly happens, as suddenly as labour pains come on a pregnant woman and there will be no way for anybody to evade it. But it is not as if you live in the dark, my brothers, for that day to overtake you like a thief. No, you are all sons of light and sons of the day. We do not belong to the night or to darkness. So we should not go on sleeping as everyone else does, but stay awake and sober. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Even 
even if you have to die, says the Lord. Keep faithful, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke this parable to his disciples. The kingdom of heaven is like a man on his way abroad who summoned his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, each in proportion to his ability. Then he set out. The man who had received the five talents promptly went and traded with them and made five more. The man who had received two made two more in the same way. But the man who had received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. Now a long time after, the master of those servants came back and went through his accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents came forward bringing five more. Sir, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. Here are five more that I have made. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have shown you can be faithful in small things. I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Next, the man with the two talents came forward. Sir, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. Here are two more that I have made. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have shown you can be faithful in small things. I, am, I, tr I will trust you with greater. Come and join in your master's happiness. Last came forward a man who had the one talent. Sir, said he, I heard, heard you were a hard man, reaping where you have not sown, and gathering where you have not scattered. So I was afraid, and I went off and hid your talent in the ground. Here it is. It was yours. You have it back. But his master answered him, You wicked and lazy servant, so you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered. Well then, you should have deposited my money with the bankers and on my return I would have recovered my capital with interest. 
So now, take the talents from him and give it to the man who has the five talents. For to everyone who has will be given more and he will have more than enough. But to the man who has not, even what he has will be taken away. As for this good for nothing servant, throw him out into the dark, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. We've all come across them, either in our time at school, our time at work, or even in our families. You know what I mean. Those people who seem to be good at everything. And to make matters worse, they don't seem to put any effort in what they do at all and it just comes out wonderful it can really make you sick sometimes we may have had thoughts or we may still have thoughts why can't i be like them why can't i be as good as them why hasn't god given me the same amount of ability as they have. Perhaps that's what the man thought in today's Gospel, who had just received the one talent, after seeing the other two people receive five talents and two talents. What am I going to do with just one talent? I know, I'll just bury it in the ground and then give it my master on his return. But the man who had received the one talent had got it all wrong. And on the occasions that we may feel like him, we've got it all wrong too. In God's wisdom, he chooses to give different abilities to different people. And yes, some will have more abilities than others. But we shouldn't look at that in terms of a competition, that we've got to do exactly the same as those who have got more abilities than we have. The person in the Gospel who received the two talents didn't think, oh no, I've got to make a further five talents just as the one who had five talents did. But what he did do is he doubled what he had just as the one with five talents did. All that God wants us to do is to use fully the abilities, the talents that we've been given. Because God sees everything as a whole. His whole plan involves giving talents and abilities to different people in the hope that they will work together to create his kingdom on earth. So that involves people with a lot of abilities working, vo- working with those who have fewer abilities. There should never be a sense of, look how many 
abilities I've got compared to you. Because no matter how many or how little we've got, they are pure gifts from God to be used as he wants them to be used. And let's not forget that in Jesus' day, one talent was worth thousands of pounds. So it was nothing to be sniffed at at all. So if we have only been given relatively few abilities, we shouldn't mope around, but we should be thankful and use what we've got to the full. We proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of a Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of a Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, by God's grace, we are children of light and of the day. Let us pray for the light of Christ to shine on the world. We pray for the poor in every land, that today's World Day of the Poor will offer them new hope of relief. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the people of America, that they may overcome their difficulties and work together in the service of justice, equity and compassion. Lord, in your mercy.
We pray for all who fear the challenge of, chi of climate change, that they will find the courage to come forth and act boldly. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for national leaders, but they will have the wisdom they need to address the root causes of religious terrorism. Lord, in your mercy, We pray for all who are subjected to bullying in the workplace, but they will maintain faith in their personal dignity. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who are ill, those in our newsletter and those we know. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who have died recently and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for our own intentions. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary, our mother, to pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh, loving God, you never cease to bring all things to life. Make us bold in our service of you and our neighbour. We are this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It shall become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord, to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal Mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave
gave it to his disciples, saying, Take that, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, an ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, 
Give kind appetites to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, but by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Love of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
So at this time, we can make an act of spiritual communion. We can invite Jesus into our lives and he will come. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, but what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy